Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's a good time for some Total War Saga Thrones Britannian as Searson. We are continuing on with our um, weather campaign, <clears throat> and we're going to be invading. Um, I think we're going to invade Stratclit right now. I'm actually, I'm actually curious about invading Ireland. So. Hmm. Okay, so we have the Irish Vikings, right? We have Diflin, and it is it is entirely a possibility that instead of attacking Strat Clit and pushing down south, we could attack the Irish Vikings. I do think Strat Clit, though, is actually the more, the more easy target to attack. Although, we, we are ruining relations with somebody who's pretty damn neutral to us. We are stronger than him, though. So I think I think taking most of his territory would be pretty damn easy, especially considering our armies and, and the skill of our generals and such. Not to mention our, our economic base is looking pretty good. So yeah, um, I, I don't know. I mean, My warriors are unparalleled. yeah. I, we so we have two armies right now. We have a levy army here. Um, let's see. Let's take a look. Let's take a look over here. So I actually I, I was taking a look a little more at these at these estates here. Um, so we have governors and estates, so I can go to estates. So I these these are the estates. I can actually give, if I wanted to, I could give generals estates. Um, there's a few estates, I think, that are available to give. Let's take a look here. So we have we have one general here whose loyalty is kind of shitty. I think it's this guy. Well, let's let's find out who is this general. So he's male Colium. Colium. Okay. I wonder, can I replace him? Are there better generals? I don't think so. I have candidates, but okay. So I can come over here to the faction. I can go to governors and estates. This is kind of kind of a. It's not really necessarily like I don't know. It's it's not so. Okay, so I can take an estate from my my leader, my king, and I can give it to one of these guys, and it increases his loyalty. So, like, I just gave him this one. I think he already owns that. Oh no, never mind. Somebody else owns that one. And then I can give him more if I wanted to. That just it just it's it's a way of keeping your your generals loyal to you, you know. And and it's that's kind of cool. So I don't know. I mean, he's he's got loyalty now. Estate's low. He's an estate owner now. He's fine. Yeah, I hope you fine. Um, anyway, we're probably gonna increase this army. We're gonna make it a little stronger. We'll get um, We'll probably keep it as levies for now. I don't, I don't really want too many expensive troops in this army um, I'd rather prioritize the, the two armies here these guys for the front line I've got I mean, I've got a couple levies here We might even be able to just get rid of these levies here and actually just probably put some swords um, Yeah, let's do that. Let's get rid of you guys and um, you know, we got some spears and uh, a few cavalry units and a couple of javelins actually I don't want the javelins. I don't really like javelins. I don't know they're good, but I think I'd probably prefer someone else in its in their stead. You know, I could I'd, I'd prefer to do like Albanax warriors or, or some swords or something. We'll probably do like two more swords um, to bring it up to five. We'll do like one more Albanax warrior. I might actually do one more like crossbowman as well. That probably is, probably be pretty good. Um, we'll keep this army's levies. We won't do too much with it. Um, in fact, because of our our technology and stuff, the levies aren't too bad. Like right now, they have. At least, for example, like this, this Cataran Levy, they have 55 melee skill, 7 armor, 31 morale, um, you know, 28 melee damage. It's not, it's not like amazing, but it's not bad. And then this, this army is actually really, really strong. Um, these Alban Axe Warriors, 66 melee skill, the sword bands of 75, the, or the, the King's Blades have like 75, even the Retinue Swords have like 64. The Crossbowmen, they have like 30 accuracy, 14 ammunition, rate of fire 23, missile damage of 38. The Alban horsemen do really, really good. You know, it's not it's not a bad army. So anyway, let's go to the turn here. We're going to get um, our two primary armies. We're going to have one levy army, two armies for the offensive. Um, we need to shore up some public order issues a little bit, but it's it's going to work itself out, I think, pretty quick. So what I want to have happen is I want to prepare for the invasion of Strat Clit. It's going to be kind of a Blitzkrieg sort of attack. We're just going to neutralize everything he's got and then move armies to engage his armies. We got a rebellion in Sudurair, which uh, isn't surprising. You know what I've been watching lately is actually uh, Legend of Total War's Ancient Empires campaign as the Roman Republic. It's pretty cool. Um, 
coming into my own. Are you now? Hurry it up. Now we're talking. All right, so we can make this guy a quartermaster, a forager. He's got enough loyalty, so I don't think we need to do anything with that. Um, let's make him a quartermaster, I think. Have him move around. Having him move around quickly is pretty important. All right, so we'll do one more axe warrior. We'll do some two two sword bands, and we'll do one more crossbow. All right, that's pretty good. That's a pretty nice army. And then, um, yeah, occupation characters, buildings. So buildings is making people very mad. So we can't increase any industrial buildings. Yeah, I mean we make a lot of money from this place. It's just. It's just the, um, well, I guess we don't make too much. Could get rid of something if I wanted to, but, um, yeah, it's just, you know, we'll be, we'll be dealing with rebellions for a while. Um, occupation, the occupation will go down. It's just, it's one of those, yeah. It's just one of those, um, Yeah, the buildings primarily. I mean, we are we do have an event as well. Minus three public order for all all provinces. Yeah, it is it is the event. Um, okay. Anyway, and then this army. Okay, we gotta wait for these king blades to replenish. Only nine percent chance of replenishment, so it's gonna take a little bit, I think. That's all right though. And then this guy, we're actually gonna leave that alone for now. Um, I'm not gonna do too much with him. I want to see if I can develop the economy a little bit. Um, I, I don't really want to develop the levy army until like we absolutely positively have to. So. Um, okay, so anyway, so it's the year 903 AD. We're in the spring season of 903 AD. In 911 AD, I believe you're far enough into the campaign that actually Normans can start raiding England. Um, the Duchy of Normandy was established in 911 AD. Obviously, they didn't invade until 1065 or 1066, I guess, but I mean, they were still around, so. You know. Let's see, we a church. Okay, so we upgraded that. We need to get something here. Public order is pretty good. I'm thinking something with, because uh, you have a lot of farm production here, so I'm thinking something with a farm. That's not bad. Plus two more public order from churches. Um, how's the corruption here? No, we really don't have any corruption. I don't really need estates necessarily. Let's go for that. I, I want to try and avoid taking public order, so. I want to try to avoid taking public order problems. Um, looks like, uh, let's see here. Somebody got a, he's a carpenter trait. This guy's resourceful. So our capital's looking pretty happy, pretty good, and very, very wealthy. We have to defend the capital quite substantially. Okay. None shall stand against us. Harry Port. So I can demolish this. You can't completely dismantle ports or buildings in the primary slot of a settlement. Okay. I I could get rid of this. Wait, like, we don't... So it's giving us supplies, but we really don't need food. So I'm going to try and actually get rid of this, I think. And I'm going to build a church for public order, I think. I really don't need... I need neither supplies nor food at this point, to be perfectly honest. I need, I need money, and that's about it. Like, that's really all I'm looking at. Let's make sure you guys are all happy. There we go. Okay. Nice, look at that. We go from 555 to 645 income. Nice. It's pretty good. Okay. So I like I like that we're developing our economy, building up a nice war chest. You know, we'll tech extract clit eventually. Okay. Son of a bitch. That's right. This is a primary settlement, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. All right. That's true. This is a primary structure in the settlement, so I can't get rid of it. Fuck. I was hoping I could build something else there. Ah, that's all right then. Fine. Let's do that. And then, yeah, let's just avoid building anything there that messes with our public order, I guess. Shit. At least we got some money for it, so it's fine. Um, yeah, it's in the church. Sure, why not? Let's get everything to level threes if I can. I don't need those estates, but we'll do it anyway. Ooh, that pottery is quite good. These guys are all level threes. We could develop maybe a little bit here. Well, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, over here could definitely use some development, I think. Well, actually, no, it's not too bad. We, we're actually already upgrading that, right? So it's not too not too shabby. We do need to upgrade up here. I think we need a church up here. This is this is the place I'm going to develop next turn for sure. Okay. 
Yeah, it's no, there's just a, just a small chance of rebellion in the zone. Okay, let's see here. Got a Grand Manor farm. We got a port over here. So level two is level three. Okay, we could upgrade that for some popular order if I wanted to. Not a bad idea, although it is 10 turns to complete. Okay, so over here, you're... Okay, so, so the unrest is coming down. We got rid of that event, so, you know, this unrest will take care of itself eventually. Um, let's start upgrading this. Let's do let's do that first. Yeah, this is the same thing. It's a herring, herring port, so... You know, I could upgrade this. Or I could get rid of it. We don't necessarily need the food. We don't necessarily... Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. I think I'll prefer to build a church there. Okay. And then, so this guy, we can upgrade um, some troops. Well, let's let's go ahead and focus on structures for now. Let's focus on structures for now before we upgrade any troops in the main army. The arsenal is going to be there one way or another, right? So we can always uh, we can always upgrade the troops. It's not a big deal. We're not at war anyway. We don't have any war to worry about. I'm also not entirely sure what victory we're going for. We can go for like a fame victory. We could go for there's there's many different types of victories that we can go for. So, I don't actually know. Uh, we can build something here. I forget what I was going to build here. <laughs> we have a lot of farming, but... I mean, we got some pretty gnarly bonuses to churches and farming. <laughs> you know. Um, considering... So, we have, like, three industry buildings here, though. This one this one costs upkeep, whereas these generate it. So, like, I could do something like this. And it gets me all the way up to 30% tradable resource production from all industry villages. And then 20% to industry just flat tax. Or, alternatively, I could do this. You know, this water mill here... This would cost me a public order. We get 30% farm tax there. Or we get 30% from here, but this gives me supplies and food production. Also furs. That's a hard decision, actually. I mean, we're doing pretty damn good on, on this industry here. I wouldn't mind increasing that. Um, the trade Plus the tradable resource production? It's like, dude, that'd be a lot. <laughs> kind of cool to have that arena, too. I don't really need this. This this is a garrison, but we don't need a garrison here. Well, it is our capital. It would not be a bad idea to fortify this location. I'll admit. I just, I don't know. I'm not convinced. I don't, I don't ever think we'll be in such a position that we have to defend the capital. I don't know. It's it's kind of a hard choice, actually, to make. Um, <laughs> Toolmaker. Damn. So I'm leaning between I'm leaning between the toolmaker and the water mill. I mean, those farming bonuses are gnarly. I mean, look at this here: the forty percent from industry, we go from three seventy to five eighteen. Whereas here, though, we've got two seventy from farms. We put it up to 462. You know what? I'm going to go for the industry. I'm going to go for the industry, I think. Okay. Now... We could upgrade this location. Okay, so this place, um, Blascona. Yeah, let's do a church, I think. Let's do a church. And then we'll do... We'll do that. Six turns, six turns. Okay, so this costs upkeep, but... Alright, that's fine. Do that. And then what's up with this? That's right, we can upgrade this location as well. Because we're talking about that location. Okay. Alright.
My abilities are growing. Okay, so this is a governor. Let's make him a um, make him a scribe. <laughs> this guy here, let's make him a forager for unit replenishment in his position. And then we have a general here. Let's make this guy a quartermaster. Okay. So let's take a look at this. Um, I think now let's check. God damn it, there's still no king's blades. Wow, look at that. To get armor, armor and weapons three? Holy crap, dude, that's pretty expensive. <laughs> we just spent like three thousand dollars on that. Jesus. Okay, so once once the public order is taken care of everywhere, basically, or at least like to the best degree that we can, we will move this army out. Um, I think once the occupation's gone, and then we're gonna be getting a church here pretty soon. It's gonna take a little bit to build, but it'll be worth it. I think Stratclote is being pushed back. From what I can see, something's happening. For 10 turns, holy shit, 30% farming income in all regions. That is a lot of money. The Gales have been working hard, working the land of time and memorial is an intrinsic part of their being. Minus 30 legitimacy for 30% farm income everywhere. That is a fuck ton of money. But I think legitimacy is too My good. I'm not sure I would trade legitimacy. Up. Yeah, I mean, look at that. We're talking about eight melee skill for all units, you know? I mean, that is, that is a lot. That is a lot of money. Wow. Wow, dude, that is so expensive. Wow. Upgrading those troops? Holy God. You can count on us! Incredible. As far as technology, what are we working on right now? Um, the Civic Tree. Oh, that's right, working on road development. I think we can continue on with all the industrial techs. That's fine. That's probably good. We, we could use the money anyway, to be honest. <laughs> we can use the money. It's not so bad. Nice. Yeah, there's a chance of rebellion here. My fear is that once we move out, we're just going to instantly get a rebellion. There's a lot of money out there. There's a lot of industry and stuff, and so I, I can't just, like, leave. <laughs> Wouldn't it be the wisest thing to just, just leave the province? I don't know. Wow, these guys really don't replenish very quickly. Jesus. <laughs> I think next turn we're going to move this this levy army. I do wonder. I think I'm going to move I'm going to move this army out. I think next turn we're going to come over here. This main army will be over here to attack their capital. Well, close to it, I guess. Their capital is actually um Actually, where the hell is this guy's capital? Oh no, it is, it is this. Yeah, so he's got a full army defending that position, not to mention a garrison. Oh, wow. So we need to destroy this force in detail and then move on out against... Yeah, okay. Okay, so next turn we're going to do that. We're going to have levy troops come over here to the, the capital 
and um, and hang out there. Let's see. Little Jim and Bird, huh? The governor of this guy is already a scribe. Um, his loyalty is only five. Let's give him like one priest. Yeah. Okay. Let's see trait gain. We got somebody who's a metropolitan. Nice. Someone is objective. Wow! Five public order. Holy shit! Wow. That is amazing. That's our main governor. Dude, high level governors are fucking gnarly. Okay, what force is that? Alright, let's move you here, King. None shall stand against us. For the glory of the gales. Not possible. Okay, so strike clit, he's um No, we'll make it a blitzkrieg. We're gonna do we're gonna do some we're gonna do some Germany to USSR shit. We're gonna have a uh, a Molotov Ribbentrop pact and then we'll attack. <laughs> Straight up. Um let's grab I don't really want to move out because I think there's gonna be a rebellion, but let's do it. Yeah, we need a lot of public order here. It's the fastest way to get here. So you do have to come all the way around. This is the closest landing point? Holy shit, yeah, check it out. So, so we land here, and you have to walk the whole way. There's a road that leads in. Okay, then. That's what they're gonna do. So we'll take that position first then. That's what we're gonna do. That is a long journey. Whoa. That was weird. And then we have this army here. Those guys are ready to go. They're they're ready to attack. Um do the question is do we get this levy army some more troops? Do I wanna do that? Should I not do that? Never I may. I may. Let's give it one more turn. Let me see, let me see. I, I'm not entirely certain just just how many troops I'm gonna need. I'm not entirely certain. No. Hmm. I think he's reorganizing this force. He either upgraded it or something, or he's reorganizing it. He just did something significant. Because he used to have like two full stacks, and now he doesn't. Let me see here. What's he up to? What's he up to? Is he allied with anybody? He's allied with the little dude down here. He's at war with Seislig. Um, Cecil, Cecilvig. Is that supposed to be Schleswig? I don't know. Northumber, and then Holderness. And then the Anglo Saxons are enormous down there. Okay. Yeah, so we so I think we're gonna have a pretty good time eliminating this dude. I think it's not gonna be too bad. I mean, he's losing positions on this front right here. Somebody just took this this uh, province capital. I think just because we have so much money, I think we are going to just raise a couple of troops here. Got the Cataran levies. I'll do. Um, I'll keep skirmishers. Fifteen. Holy shit, dude. Those Alban X Warriors? Wow, they're expensive. 77 for the Catarans, 176 for the um for those dudes. Then again, I mean they are really good troops, so. Can't complain. 200 for the sword retinues. 
Wow, it's a lot. I love you, Spears. These guys aren't bad. Hmm. We'll do four crossbows. I'm actually thinking of just going straight Cataran levies. It's just, it's cheap. It's a cheaper way to do this. I don't want to spend too much on this levy army. Yeah, plus, I mean, they do, we do have the armor and the, and the weapon upgrades. So, I mean, like, if they have to, if they have to fight a battle, they're not bad. They're not doing too bad. So Stratclude and Slesvig just make peace. Got a lead mine over here. Let's get that. Okay, so we just spent all of our money on, you know, economic development. Okay, you've got a full army. Okay, so we're ready to invade here. This is going to take a bit still. So you can get there. Why well, you can get there pretty quick. Okay. Not too shabby. Then this main force is going to have to hold. Oh, well, that's right, we're gonna go for this first. That's true. Ooh, yeah, I don't wanna do that yet. Not time. Alright, so in uh, technically then in uh... Oh yeah, we might just do that. Two turns and we're done. We can declare war. Okay. Alright. Um I'm gonna keep an eye on what these armies do. Looks like he's got Levy Welsh Spears, Mailed Axemen, Welsh Archers, Scout Horsemen. I think we'll be okay. I'm going to take a break here, guys. We're going to destroy Strat in the next episode, so thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks so much.